This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. Today I'm going to be sculpting three completely different character faces that I make up on the spot. This is a fun exercise that I like to do every once in a while where I just let the clay tell me what to make. And then before we get started, by popular demand, I brought back the seamstress and she is available right now at aceofclay.com. You can buy her directly from me. I will be signing these if you would like. Just let me know when you check out if you want to grab one. If you missed out on the first round, now's your chance because after this, she's really gone forever. And now without further ado, let's start sketching. All right, let's get started. The first thing I wanna do is create the armature for each of my head sculpts. I'm just going to make these from some aluminum foil and a healthy amount of Super Sculpey Ultralight. I wanna create large divots to give me some flexibility in where I can place the eyes later. But other than that, I want them to be very simple with no defining features because I wanna think of those later. Literally making up everything as I go. Once these are done, let's get them in the oven. Now for the fun part. After the armature is baked, I'm gonna go ahead and cover everything in some Super Sculpey Living Doll. Now on this project, I really wanted to stretch my sculpting muscles and go into it genuinely with no idea of what I'm gonna make. This is my favorite way to sculpt, by the way, with no plan. <laughs> this is both good and bad. Good in the sense that the world's at your fingertips and you can make anything you want, and bad in the sense that properly planning something while ensuring sculptural integrity is a little hard to do on a whim. So. Anyway, for this first sculpt, there's something about a creepy zombie old man that really gets me, so we're gonna make him into that. Perhaps he was a corporate big wig when he was alive and was killed by his jealous business partner. I imagine him speaking in a low octave, drawing out his words to the point where it makes you uncomfortable. Or he can be a butler, working tirelessly for an ungrateful rich family who ended up killing him over a misunderstanding or a small disagreement that escalated a little too quickly. All right, let's go ahead and continue those facial features. By now you're probably wondering, how did this guy die? Well, this part's gonna answer all your questions. A huge gash to the face, of course. I love making skin with a rubber shaper like this because all you do is just crisscross lines over and over again and it eventually looks like skin. No matter what level you're at, it will look like skin as long as you're not pressing too hard. Now let's pop on some ears. Now for his clothes, let's go with a nice generic black suit and tie. Just added the collar, I'll be folding over later, some wrinkles to his upper chest, and all the details a suit and tie entails. There we go, this guy's looking pretty good after a couple more wrinkles. Let's pop him in the oven. And once he's baked and cooled down, wanna add some bacon bond to his head to secure the hair. Wanna give him a nice old man receding hairline that's receded all the way off the top of his head. Now I'm gonna use this rubber shaper 
and add some hairline texture and then the rubber shaper to texture the rest of the hair. Notice I'm not really dragging the shaper on the surface. I'm more dabbing it on because this is going to give me the look that I want and it's not going to drag the clay everywhere and get all those little tiny like crumbly pieces that happen when you drag a tool on the surface of polymer clay. After a couple more streaks, this guy is pretty much done. Grandpa, is that you? Now let's bake them one last time and start painting. We're going to start with this nice dead gray color. And I've edited this video to show every head sculpt from start to finish in one section. So after I'm done painting this guy, you'll see me start sculpting the next one. And these are Army Painter Warhammer paints. Amazing coverage, as you can see. Pretty much do any color in one coat. Now I'm just using a dark wash to get into all of those wrinkles on his face and those super deep set eyes. Really bring out those details. And then before I paint the base coat on the other areas, I'm going to dry brush some lighter gray on the surface to really bring out the details and highlight everything. I'm going to go ahead and finish them off with a wash all over everything. Did I say black suit and tie earlier? Sorry, I meant a black suit blue tie. And just like that, this dude is complete. Stay tuned until the end of the video for the final shots. Now on to the next guy. This is going to be a clown. And when I decided that, the name Sprinkles popped into my head. So everyone, today you get to meet Sprinkles the Clown. Not to be confused with any other clowns named Sprinkles because I didn't do any research on that before this. Also fun fact, when I get a cat, his name is going to be Mr. Sprinkles. Now I want this guy to be pretty demented looking, which is pretty much a running theme on my channel. Not sure why my current brand colors are bright blue and purple, but I digress. I'm gonna make him really bulgy with a creepy smile, no top teeth, and the best part is he's gonna be licking his top lip. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. And just like that, we almost have Sprinkles the Clown. I think after making him in bust form, I should sculpt his whole body. Let me know if you think I should do that in the comments. I think I could have a lot of fun with that. All right, I wanna give him a very gummy bottom row of teeth, so I'm gonna place that bottom lip pretty low so I get the look of that down. And I was gonna do sharp teeth, but then I decided on some nice big stumpy ones. Just wanna create the holes for the teeth first, add some bacon bond, and then press in my teeth ever so gently. Now let's make some nice deep forehead wrinkles with some tiny snakes of clay. And 
and now we're going to take a quick break to talk about the sponsor. All right, now before we get into the rest of the video, let's take a second to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over three years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features include the portfolios and galleries. In my line of work, I have to show everything that I make to the world, and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I even opened my online store where I sell stickers, posters, even original sculpts, and Squarespace makes everything so easy. I can track my inventory, even print shipping labels, I get notifications when I get a sale, and everything I need is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads. They really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this day and age, if you're an online business, you've got to have a social media presence, and Squarespace allows you to integrate all your social media into any page of your website. So if everything I said sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to go live, go to squarespace.com slash ace of clay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code ace of clay. Thanks again, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. Now back to our sculpture. Now let's go ahead and finish that brow area with some nice bushy eyebrows. All right, now let's pop on some more ears. And of course, let's finish him off with his nice tongue. It's licking that top lip. And then before baking him, I just want to add a little cone shape out of some ultralight to support his hair that we're going to add after he's baked. Yes, this is after he's baked. So let's go ahead, add that texture with this rubber shaper and get him finished up. Then after his last bake, it's time to bring him to life with some paint. I want him to look very dead, pale, greenish even, and then I want him to have a pretty typical clown face paint job, but I want it to look like it was haphazardly applied and smeared. But before we do that, let's paint all the other details first. All right, now let's start the first step of his face paint, which is going to be the white base that he has. I'm just going to dry brush some white paint onto that. I believe this color is called Mummy Robes. And I'm just dabbing it on the surface like so, so it has a nice little gradient and sort of fades off into the rest of his face. I want this to look like it was applied on top of his skin, not the color of his skin. After applying that right around his lips, I sort of smeared it a little bit just to give it that look.
And then we're going to go with this nice bright blue color for his hair, because why not? And then to finish him off, let's go in with a nice dark wash over everything. And then for the last step on this guy, I'm going to glaze the parts that are supposed to be shiny, like his eyes and his mouth, with some Americana Triple Thick Glossy Varnish. The best brush-on acrylic varnish you're going to get before going to resin. And there we go. Sprinkles is done. On to the next one. Now this next guy is really weird and out there. Nothing like anything I've sculpted before. It's going to be this cartoony, exaggerated, creepy character. I want him to look very fleshy and pretty much make anybody that looks at him uncomfortable. He's going to be very expressive. I want to give him a huge smile, squinty eyes, a double chin. Basically what I look like when I accidentally turn the front face and camera on on my phone. Now that you can see him coming together more and really coming into his own, I've thought of a couple names for him. We've got Smiley Boy, Mr. Noodles, Squishy, Mr. Hugs, Beigey, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know what you think and what you think I should name this guy. I want it to be just as uncomfortable sounding as he looks. there we go my sculpture of me when I open the front facing camera is complete now it's time to bake it and paint him let's start with this nice sort of chartreusey green color get that all over the place and then when that's dry of course we're gonna add a wash I love my washes Now let's get those teeth painted and finish them up.
and of course we're gonna complete him by glazing the teeth and eyes with some Americana triple thick varnish. Couple more little dabs. Now say it with me. And they're done. My three different character sketches are complete. Let me know what you think of them in the comments. So I think I achieved my goal of wanting to sculpt three completely different characters that don't even look like they're from the same world. I really like this guy, I think he's my favorite, but the others are just, they're so different from each other, you can't really compare them, but overall I had a blast doing this. So let me know what you think in the comments, let me know if you wanna see more character sketches like this. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Don't forget to grab your seamstress plush before she's gone. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Ace of Clay, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.